Hey there, and welcome to our Golf.com pick segment. Ryan Aseltha joined this week by Dylan DeChair, and we're getting you ready for the Fort Worth Invitational at Colonial. It's got a new name, Dylan, this year, but same course, Colonial there outside of the Fort Worth area. Your defending champion, of course, is Kevin Kisner, who put on that plaid jacket just a year ago. Uh, who do you like? Interesting field. A lot of the top guys are in this field, uh, despite this not being such a marquee event. Who do you like this week down at Colonial? Yeah, well, one place that I do want to start is uh, Bryson DeChambeau. Obviously went to school in Texas, but I like him because he's been getting pretty hot. You know, he, 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 his last start out at the Players, he was a little sketchy on the weekend, but still played well the first couple days. Top fives, three of his last five starts. One stat I like, he's pretty solid from the fairway to the green, and I think that that's going to be huge this week, approaching the green. Yeah, Bryson, an SMU guy, also fared well at Harbortown, which draws comparisons course-wise to Colonial. All right, I like a guy who's just one of the longest hitters on tour, and that's John Rahm. Placed second in his debut here at Colonial last year. He's second on tour in strokes gained off the tee. This is a guy whose game just travels so well. Look where he's played well. Out in Hawaii, he won in Palm Springs, he won in Spain, he's going to Texas now. Too much talent to just overlook in a situation like this. I think if he gets the driver going, he's sneaky creative around the greens. I like John Rahm this week a lot. How about a guy a little further on down the world rankings, a little more value for a pick this week? Sure, and this is a guy that has been unbelievably steady. Canadian Adam Hadwin, opposite of John Rahm in some ways, doesn't hit it a ton off the tee, but courses where you have a lot of mid-irons, short irons, which should be the case this week, Hadwin has been really, really solid. Uh, good finishes at the Genesis this year, as well as at the Valspar, I think will translate well. He hasn't missed a cut in just about forever, so I really like Adam Hadwin for some value. Yeah, that stretch goes for almost four months or so he's been playing solid golf. All right, I like Zach Johnson this week. Number 58 in the world, so there's your value, but this is a guy who's the all-time money winner at Colonial. He's a two-time champion. He just loves this. He is horse for course. 12 appearances at Colonial. He's never missed the cut. Zach is a lock this week, I think, to make the cut down there at Colonial. How about a guy, though, not much of a lock that you don't like? Well, I don't want to say I don't like him because I love his future. I love what he did last week. But I just think this week, Aaron Wise may be a little bit overvalued coming off the big win. Uh, there is that first win hangover, I think, the next week. And then also, his game doesn't necessarily set up quite as well for Colonial as it did for the wide open fairways that uh, we saw last week. So I think stay away from Aaron Wise this week, but buy his stock long term all you can. Yeah, the course at Colonial is going to look like he's hitting into a tunnel compared to what he had last week there at Trinity Forest. Uh, I'm saying stay away from Patton Kazire. This is a guy who's fourth in the FedEx Cup standings right now, but that hot start of earlier this year is a long, long time ago. This is a guy who's missed his last four cuts and his last 10 stroke play rounds, he has not been able to break 70. Patton's struggling with something right now. I say stay away. All right, that's going to do it for this week's pick segment. He's Dylan. I'm Ryan. We'll see you next week.